Lots of clouds out there today and a wee bit of rain, drizzle type shower activity, which will continue on and off through the evening hour and likely through the day tomorrow. Looks like a stronger front due by Sunday night into Monday. Until then, just some light sprinkles expected as we will hang on to lots of cloud cover across the north coast. But at this point, it's more clouds than rain. Still a little bit of moisture crossing the area. Again tonight, we'll look at the potential for some showers in these hit or miss type uh, cells that are moving across the area. Rainfall amounts will remain on the light side. Today, we were just looking at a few hundredths of an inch of precipitation for the most part with daytime highs in the mid to upper 50s at the coast. Low 50s for most inland locations. However, Gasky managed to get to 61 today. 53 on Humboldt Bay, 57 out at the airport in McKinleyville with a 54 up in Crescent City and a 53 over in Willow Creek today for a high temperatures tomorrow. Very close to this as you see a continuation of some overrunning clouds moving into the area here. Not a lot of moisture associated with this as I mentioned, but we will see a slight chance of showers continuing on and off through the day tomorrow into early Saturday morning. Now it looks like a bit of a break Saturday before the next slug of moisture heads our way. It uh, on tap for probably Sunday night into Monday and that one looks like it'll be a bit wetter than what we've had of late. Here you see the moisture brushing the area through uh, the evening tomorrow and then clearing out a bit through the day on Saturday. So again a th slight chance of light rain shower activity will remain in the picture into if not through the weekend but as expected it'll probably be more clouds than rain once again temperature wise mid to upper 50s to prevail across northern california into the mid 60s again across the southland and for us overnight we'll look for mid to upper 40s at the coast mid to low 40s out across the interior with daytime highs tomorrow very close to what you saw today mid to upper 50s prevailing maybe a low 60 or two but not too many of them as winds will be out of the southeast at 10 in the offshore waters with the forecast looking for lots of clouds to continue with light shower activity into the weekend and then another slug of moisture arriving looks like late sunday into monday come midweek we clear things out and dry it out once again but at that point looks like we'll be looking at a blast of cold air moving into the area again not looking for a hard freeze at this point, but we will certainly chill out a bit through the end of next week. Taking a look right now at our three-degree contestant for tonight, we see Bill Cahill of Arcata winning a desk clock from Redwood Coast Cellular, which means there'll be $60, I believe, in the prize pool for Bonnie Bridges of Eureka coming up tomorrow night. <clears throat> so we'll see how that one plays out then. And also just a reminder here, Saturday, Friends of Trinidad Library hosting a holiday home tour in Trinidad between 4 and 7, raising money for the uh, new library there. That's a good thing. That's a good thing for the season, and the weather should cooperate nicely. Okay. Thanks, Jim. You bet. All right. Now, Manny Machado joins us in sports. And Manny, what do you got for us tonight? More basketball tournaments getting our way tonight. Uh, St. Bernard's, uh, Eureka High School, and then at McKinleyville. And then we turn. Top honors are handed out in high school volleyball. It's a first for a local youth soccer team, and tragedy strikes the NFL. Stay with us. Sports is next.